Right, how they come. They seem to have enlarged a little bit. It's really that kind of batter has grown, I think. Just please don't forget to subscribe for more awesome vegan content. Hey vegan food explorers, I am of course your vegan food explorer and today we've got an emergency video. It is because one of my favourite, one of our favourite vegan brands, This Isn't, have just released a new, brand spanking new Frozen range. They've got a whole series of them, there are three at the moment. They have got sausages, chicken nuggets and chicken tenders. We picked up the chicken tenders and I cannot wait to try them. We're gonna pop them in the oven and we're gonna do the ultimate taste test. So this isn't a super famous for their amazing vegan chicken. I put it joint, in my opinion, with the what the cluck chicken. I think they offer something very different, but I think in their own ways, they're amazing. Super high protein, really delicious, absolutely delicious. Premium price point, yes. But for the quality and the taste, if you're gonna afford it, it's amazing. So, chicken tenders, we're expecting very high things here. First things first, yeah, what is a chicken tender? I guess it's kind of different to a chicken nugget, which is more ice feel as, a, it's different shape for a start, circle and maybe more tougher, um, kind of just more organized, organized chicken, if that makes sense, the, the, the texture inside. Whereas these I'm expecting to be a bit more flaky and a bit more like a much smoother, more, more tender, you might say, on the insides. And I think that image is kind of giving us, giving us that kind of vibe as well. So what's it made from? It's made from, it's got water, wheat flour, um, which I assume is the coating, and then um, wheat gluten and soy protein isolate. Oh, and pea protein isolate. So that's where it gets the protein. So per 100 grams, you're looking at 12.7 grams of protein, which is pretty good actually, especially when it's got that batter on it as well. Obviously, if it was just pure vegan chicken, it would be higher. One thing that I'm not too keen on is the 10 grams of fat. That is quite a lot. So that means this is a 240, 240 um, gram pack, which means there is, yeah, 24 grams of fat in the whole pack, which is quite a lot. Um, I guess that must be from, I don't know what from, uh, from the sunflower oil, I assume, because it's only got 1.2 grams of saturated fat. So that is kind of the good side of that. Um, but yeah, anyway, the packaging looks epic, doesn't it? I love they have this kind of crazy thing on the back. Um, they have it on some of their other products as well. Looks, looks awesome, looks really fun. You got 100% plant-based. This isn't chicken tenders. <clears throat> what more do you need to know? Right, let's have a look at the packaging then. So cooking is oven. You basically place them on a tray um, and then cook for 12 to 15 minutes. What I love is this new kind of style of food. Basically, they don't have any plastic, which is awesome. They just have in a cardboard box. And yeah, right, so let's have a look at them. How many do you get? I've got one, two, three, four, hang on. One, two, about seven maybe? Seven, yeah, I think about seven. Interesting, they're kind of massive chicken dippers, aren't they? Huge, look a bit like a hash brown as well. That is that is quite big, like that's my finger. That is pretty serious. You can also see the southern fried bits. It's gonna have some really nice seasoning in there. So, look pretty good, I think. Price-wise, as we saw, they're three pounds, which is a premium price point. I'm hoping they kind of come down in price and um, the more people buy them. Also, hopefully they're gonna go on offer as they're relatively new. But I would expect them to hopefully go down a bit because they're frozen. I feel normally frozen food is cheaper because it lasts longer and um, it's it can be, yeah, it lasts longer basically. And you don't, it's not gonna spoil as fast. So there, so anyway, we're gonna pop these in the oven. I'll see you in 12 to 15 minutes for a taste test. Okay, vegan food explorers, they're out of the oven. My word, this kitchen smells like I'm in a southern fried chicken piece. It's crazy. It, the, the aroma is amazing. Very pungent, actually. Really it smells delicious. It smells like a, yeah, a bit KFC, obviously, is the kind of the stereotype there, but it does actually taste like that. They're absolutely boiling. They're kind of nuclear, nuclear sun level of heat. So I'm going to use a fork here, but right, how they come. They seem to have enlarged a little bit. It's really that kind of batter has grown, I think, just kind of grown a little bit. 
looks really nice, really, really nice. So I've, I've just cut one open here. Not what I was expecting at all. I mean, that looks to me really like a chicken nugget. So I guess maybe it is only, the only difference is maybe the Southern Fried Chicken to the chicken nuggets. We'll have to get the, the chicken nuggets and do a taste test in the future, but we're here for the Southern Fried Chicken. So I'm gonna go in for a bite and we'll see what's what. That's nice, really nice actually. I've got to say the batter, best part of this actually, I'd say the batter is grade A, amazing, really delicious got that cracked pepper in it, um, spices, it's it's thick. The chicken, maybe it's not tender enough for me. I think I need, I've, I've only cooked half of it, so I am gonna cook the other half another day, and I'll update on the Instagram, but it's, it's not how I thought it would be, where it's kind of that striation, pulling apart. As you can see, it's cut really cleanly. It's like a block of tofu, it almost feels like. And um, it really reminds me of, I've had the Tofu Company. They have these tofu pieces in kind of batter. It really reminds me of that because also the, the batter doesn't stay super easy to it. It falls off like that. And then you're left with this kind of block of chicken. The chicken tastes nice, really nice actually. Um, and the batter, the batter is amazing, but the, mm, the texture, I think they could do a little bit better with. It feels like, it doesn't, it, it does kind of feel like the refrigerated, um, this isn't chicken, but it feels more blocky, more blocky actually. I don't know if that's, maybe I've overcooked it, maybe it's from the frozen, maybe that's how it is. But that's my only, my only issue. Would you be tricked that this is chicken? I don't think so. And that's, that's probably where I have the, the issue with it. it. I don't think it's gonna trick people. Is it a really delicious snack? as a vegan that's gonna give you that crave, that kind of scratch that itch of vegan chicken, yes, it most certainly will do that. If you want a pot of these, after, you know, at the end of a day or when you're watching a film or some sport, this is gonna do that. If you wanna trick your friends and family and make them go, oh my God, I can't believe that wasn't chicken, I don't think this is gonna do it. But there's a place for all these different sorts of products and I think it's epic that This Isn't Chicken have moved into the frozen section, that they're expanding, it's insane. It's another win for the chickens because there's gonna be less chickens killed for, for humans to eat and we can eat more delicious food like this. But I'm hoping, 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 hoping that This Isn't are gonna do what they've done to all their other products where they have version one, two and three. And I think if they just tweak the chicken, this could be one of the best vegan products out there but for now it's a really good product and i definitely recommend checking it out i'm going to hopefully get the rest of the frozen range and we'll do a taste test but that's the video for now have you tried any of the other this isn't chicken frozen food let me know down in the comments below as always i have got tons more videos coming up so stay tuned and of course we will see you in the next video